Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. Yes, it is dark, I've never uh, started a vlog off in the car, I don't think, driving this early in the morning. But, oh well, it is currently 47 degrees outside and hopefully you guys saw that. It's kind of rough on this road here this morning. Uh, but I wanted to give you guys an exposed view, or an inside view, if you would, of dealership detailing and exactly how harmful it is to your paint. A lot of people do not have the inside information unless you do work at a dealership. You know, most, you know, majority of people know that detailing from a dealership or just the basic, basic uh, courtesy wash that they give or offer is harmful to your paint. Now, if you guys don't understand why, I'm gonna show you that today. Okay, so quick disclaimer here. If anybody watches this video and you work at a dealership or you know somebody who does work for a dealership, this is just a parody video. So this actually does not um, happen to an everyday vehicle. This is just for fun. Um, if anybody is seen in this video, any company names, make sure to let them know it's just a parody. I'm not bashing anybody, I'm not bashing the companies, I'm not bashing anybody doing the jobs. I'm just here to shed some light on the subject. Make it funny. And you know, just have you guys enjoy the channel. Enjoy the videos. So from a detailer's aspect, point of view, it's always a no-no when you take a vehicle to a dealership and you have them wash it because they always want to put a brush on it, they always want to scratch the paint. So here's an insider view. First off, we start with this water and this soap that we haven't changed in about a week. We go to the wet car. We scrub it with the brush. So what kind of sandpaper is this? Is this like super abrasive sandpaper or is it just a brush? The most aspect? abrasive sandpaper we can get. <laughs> We use this, like I said, we haven't changed the water in about a week. The soap hasn't been changed in about a week. And we just scrub the, the car until we see all the bugs come off. And we're told, we're told to get more abrasive sandpaper. However, this is the most abrasive that we can get. We try to scratch the paint as much as possible with the brush. We go back in. We're showing them. It's a parody video. <laughs> we never wash, we never dry the cars. We want to make sure the cars are never dry. So what you're saying is after you wash it, you let it sit in the sun with the water and yes. get in water spots all over it, right? Yes, water okay. spots okay. have to be left on it. Yes, this is, this is my toy for the day, I'm treating someone's car like my toy. And it's good. You can do is just drive it to the customer just like this, and it's good to go. No, no sense in, in, in rinsing. <laughs> no Absolutely. sense in rinsing whatsoever. Matter of fact, I forgot. Actually, you know what you gotta do? You gotta go in circles. Oh. You forgot to go in circles, you know that? Okay, I'm sorry about yeah. that. You gotta go in circles. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. My bad. I'll make sure, you know, make sure that when the customer gets the car, they can't see, they can't recognize the vehicle that they're, that they're driving. You just make sure that you want to at least see five scratches on a car after you're done with it. If you do 10, you're amazing. <laughs> Well, we're gonna let this guy get back to finishing this vehicle. Get it all done up correctly the way you shouldn't do it. Get back home. Look at all this. That's not so clear coat failure. So as you see guys, that's not the way you wash a car. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you thought it was entertaining. Hit that like button, drop a comment below. Hit that subscribe button. See you guys on the next one. It's caught in the crossfire.